Hi you guys, welcome back to another first impression video. We are looking forward to spring. The Big Five has started to release their early spring collections and today they released the Know Me new pattern collection. So we are going to go take a look at that. If I can find my way there, shop the early spring. This is us. Okay, great. Yeah, so we're looking at Know Me patterns early spring. Um, if you're new here, this is the video series where I take a look at all of the patterns in a particular collection. And I'm just going to kind of give you the thoughts that kind of jump to mind. We're going to talk about fit if it comes up, fabrication, of course, um, different options for fabrics, and just things that pop in my head as I look through the patterns. Nomi is one of those pattern companies that's particularly unique because all of the designers are like makers and creators themselves. They're not necessarily pattern designers, and they are also the ones who are modeling their own patterns. So when I'm coming to look at Nomi, I'm realizing that A, this is not a professional model, <laughs> and that is fine. B, they've probably made their own sample. So that does give me, I do play closer attention to fit. Let's just say that. So um, Nomi is always fun to look at though, because I feel like these people are us, right? It's like they're making the clothes that we want to wear. Um, and I end up loving them a lot. They end up being like a little bit kind of on the edge a little bit. And I think that's really fun. All right. So first up we have Brittany J. Jones, uh, her Mrs. M. Women's romper and jumpsuit. It is a notched collar romper and jumpsuit with an elastic back casing, side pockets, front fly zipper, and tie belt. Sizing options are 10 to 18 and then 20 to 28. Okay, interesting size range here. Um, I love how the misses goes to 18. That's sort of rare, I think. Um but we're still only getting five sizes per pattern envelope. So it's still not their full women's range, but it's also not their full misses range. You know, you're missing six and eight, um, but it's pretty close. We will look at what the garment measurements are um, as we get to that page there just to see exactly what the sizing means. But there's our gorgeous cover. Cute, bright spring colors is getting me very excited. Um, as the description said, it's a notched collar, kind of like wrap style. I think it has a drop shoulder. Actually, I think it's a grown on sleeve. I don't know. This print is so wild. It's hard to tell. Line drawings will help. Um, it does look like we have a bit of a slant pocket here. Um, and then the knee length option. We have a center front seam maybe, but not up here. Yeah, I'm gonna need to see the line drawings like sooner rather than later. Let's um take a look, see if that helps at all. So I think what's happening, it, it ooh, is it grown on? Did it say anything about sleeves? It didn't. Okay, so I think it's a dolman sleeve. I don't think that's a seam right there. I think that's just like a fold. So grown on sleeve. So interesting. And then it wraps, it must have like a hook or a button or something in here. And then there's also still a fly and a zipper so that you can open it up all the way down. What a cute concept. Wow, my mind is like kind of just going. And then we also have, it looks like pleats here. And then this is just gathered because of the belt. And then there's elastic back here. Okay, I'm glad I looked at those soon because that's really helping. So, well, now this doesn't look like there's any pleats. So maybe it's just all gathered up with this belt. What an interesting concept. Now she's using some kind of stable weight fabric, maybe even some kind of denim. My mind is going to lighter weight fabrics to get all the drape of this really cool sleeve that she designed. 
Um, fit wise, it looks really, really good on her. If I'm nitpicking just a little bit, I'm just going to say there's a little bit of extra fabric in the thigh, but that is like really like getting down and dirty with the fitting and nobody would ever notice that, but people who <laughs> sew. Plus when I, if I ever saw her like in person in this, I'm not zeroing in <laughs> on her inner thigh. So you'd probably never notice it, but, um, this is the back with it has that elastic casing. So it does kind of control the gathers, which I really appreciate. It's not like you throw the belt on and then some, all the gathers are over here and some, none over here or whatever. And then, yeah, you can see here the top shoulder seam for the dolman sleeve. Yeah, there's a, the pocket is pulling away from the body a little bit. It's hard. It doesn't, Seem to me like that's because it doesn't fit. It seems to be a result of having all the gathers at the waistline, possibly, or even just having all the gathers in the back. Because the side seam is, well, it might be a little bit angled toward the back. It's hard to tell with this like angle that she's standing at, but or it could have just stretched out too while she was sewing it. I'm really not getting the vibe that it's like being pulled and strained. And that's why it's pulling away from the body. Okay, that's it. We get those few pictures. Okay, so chambray, cotton blends, and linen blends. I think too, now we've talked about this almost every new season. We talk about the fabric suggestions that they make are based on the season that they're releasing the patterns in which is for this one is early spring. So they're going to be making them out of fabrics that are a little bit more stable, a little bit more warm than they would if this same exact pattern were released in the summer, for example. But that doesn't mean you can't make them out of summer lightweight fabrics, fall, you know, corduroys and stuff like that, or even like winter, like super stiff, like denim or, you know, whatever it is that you would be um, wearing in the winter, maybe like a stable knit, like a sweatshirt fleece or something. I don't know. I'm thinking way outside the box here, but, um, so even though they just gave us these three, I, again, I'm going to go back to the fact that I want something where this little drape of the sleeve is really going to be able to shine. So something a little bit drapier, the linen blend might provide that. You just have to like, you know, feel around and see what you've got. So we do have the nine inch zipper and we have some buttons that must be for the inside to hold it to hold the wrap down and then some elastic for the back. Here are our sizes. So the body measurement chart goes up to a 50 inch waist, no, sorry, 50 inch bust. The waist is negligible really because of that elastic. And then the hip goes up to 52 with seven inches of ease. So pretty roomy in the hip. You shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Seven inches does feel like a very full hip. I'm not seeing seven inches on her, right? At her full hip, it seems pretty close fitting. Like I was gonna guess, I don't know, three, four. I'm not really getting seven, but maybe she sized down or you know did some grading or something like that. All right, so off to a great start. I am obsessed with jumpsuits these days. I just think that they are gonna become a staple in my wardrobe and you're going to see me in them a lot. Um, now we have Lydia Naomi's uh, pattern. This is a shirt dress, cargo shirt dress with slightly oversized fit, has rounded shirt tail hems, patch pockets with flaps, top stitching, and center back box pleat. Okay, and another pink. I think they must have been making these whenever Barbie was like having its moment. <laughs> okay, so... This is woven, right? Is, did they, they didn't say knit. Look how interesting this back is. That is really so cool. So another notched collar. This one has a set in sleeve. It looks beautiful. The shoulder length is just long enough for this little baby um, sleeve cap that she has. I mean, there's a bit of a fold here, um, but it's not for it being too small. It actually might be just too much fabric in here. Um, we'd have to see her raise her arms to see how low the arm size is, but this from here up looks great. And then we have the yoke with the cool pocket design and then another angled seam with another angled flat pocket. 
Yeah, she did all the contrasting hem, but the back of this thing, wow, that is so cool. Yeah, let's take a closer look. Yep, the yoke with like the flat felt seam, then this beautiful little box pleat that's um, stitched into the kind of like low waist seam. Yeah, super, super cute. It's not super fitted anywhere. It's pretty relaxed. And I think that's kind of, you know, kind of trending in fashion really is to not have things be so tight. I think it's kind of like fit and flair. Like we're not really seeing that much lately. Okay, so here's the back. We're gonna do chambray, cotton blends, lightweight denim, linen blends, poplin, shirtings, stretch wovens, and twill. Yeah, that pretty runs the gam pretty much runs the gamut of the midweight wovens, right? And then this is eight to sixteen, and then eighteen to twenty six on the size range. Um, finished garment measurements. Gosh, I would base it probably off of my hip because that's the largest part of me. Um, and so the hip goes from 39 and a half up to 56. Another really cute one. That one will be memorable too. It's just these, you know, I always say basics with a twist, right? This is a basic shirt dress, but these little pocket details, how they're kind of just like askew and like a little bit tilted, plus the unique back detail, that'll get me every single time. Okay, here is Alicia grace's overalls now truth be told she's very active on social media and i follow her and so i've seen sneak peeks of these already this is not the first time i've seen them but i did pay attention to how i felt and how i reacted the first time that i saw them and so i will try and <laughs> make sure i include some of that here but this says a modern take on the classic this overall features a flare leg with side panel kangaroo pocket detail, mock fly front and adjustable straps. View B has contrast front pocket and side panels. Only variation from view A. So that's the only difference I think is what she means by that. And I do remember thinking when I saw this the first time that this bib felt really wide. Normally the bib of an overall is really barely just outside of your uh, bust apex or like I guess where your nipples are and so if I made this I would want to take it in by I don't know an inch on each side just the littlest bit so it's not so much covering up the whole body I will say I do think it's super interesting how if you look at these from afar it looks like this the 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 solid blue part is the pant and then this part kind of disappears which gets me thinking about using contrast in a very very different way like like if we did denim or chambray or twill or whatever for this and then did some kind of like drapey situation or even like a lace or a see-through sheer mesh something it's making me feel like I don't know this is just like a playground for like how to mix fabrics because you're still getting lots of coverage from the front granted your whole side body would be exposed but you know there's ways to deal <laughs> with that right um so yeah i think that i think that that is how i would try and make this take like put a spin on it for myself but in and of itself it's a pretty it's a pretty risky garment right are we only going to get that one photo Oh no, what is happening? Okay, hold on. They're just putting those up sooner, I guess. Okay. Um, I think it also helps this uh, like dark denim that she used. You can see her top, whereas the other one you can't. And I think that that really helps in overalls too, to kind of show that there is like a background to the overalls and it's not just swaddling up your entire body. Um, hands in pocket pose. So I'm not gonna really assess the fit through the low hip, although it does look good even with her hands in her pockets. Um, I think it's a pretty generous ease and generous fit. It is kind of hard to see this dark denim though. Um, and then yeah, again, the panel just gives this super, super interesting leg. It's not quite flare. It's not wide leg. It's something all to itself. 
see how she looks naked here underneath I know she has a top on but well I don't know but I'm assuming she has a top on and it kind of just make it just makes your eye only look at this bib and her body kind of disappears and I want to make sure I can see her body and look at her pretty face and all that okay here's the back first time we've seen the back and it has our traditional bib yeah super interesting now we are getting some wrinkles and folds here which means that this part is too long for her. Um, and length is one of those things that even if you're grading patterns between sizes, if you're not checking length, then you're missing like half the equation. Um, the waist band does seem to be at her waist, maybe a little bit low. Um, I think her natural waist is around here somewhere. But this could easily be adjusted by just adjusting the straps. So it's not even really like, a mistake I just think I don't know she didn't adjust the straps to, <laughs> to fit her back um, I'd have to be taking a look at the front and the back and everything all together to see if there's a bigger fit issue here I don't think so I just think the straps weren't adjusted properly and then another full length so you can see the leg and you can see this side panel how wide that is on the side Okay, and those are the only pictures that we are gonna get. Okay, good, I'm glad we got the back. Um, so, chambray, corduroy, cotton blends, denim, linen blends, and twill. Yeah, I mean, even looking at these side, these uh, line drawings here, that is just, it's getting my mind racing. Whereas the last pattern and even Brittany's pattern, I'm like, yep, make it as is, got it, good. This one, I'm like, what could I do to make this really cool and fun? and unique and something where people are like, whoa, where did you get those? Like, think about like crocheted side panels, something really out there. I hopefully you guys aren't like, you know, thinking I'm crazy and instead you're getting inspired. But yeah, that's where my mind is going with these. Okay, we do have an eight to 16 and an 18 to 26 size range. Um, I think that was what was so interesting about Britney's sizing is that it was a Mrs. and women's pattern, but we only got one more size on the plus size size on the women's side. So I think that was why I was like, oh, that doesn't really feel like women's to me. That feels like Mrs. Plus. <laughs> um, okay, so this is super generous throughout. I guess I would base it off of my waist measurement, um, which the waists go from 28 and a half to 45. And it looks like there's four inches of ease in the waist. So nice, comfy, loose situation. Um, for the record, there's also 18 inches of ease at the full hip. And so it gets even bigger. Alicia, I think you killed this one. This one is really getting me very excited and certainly will be memorable, which which matters. These days I'm buying patterns. I don't go to the, I don't go to Joanne anymore and look through the books. I just get what I remember. I'm going in the store and I'm like, yep, I'm going to get Britney's. I'm going to get Alicia's. I'm going to, you know what I mean? I go through them that way. And then that's it. If I forget, sometimes it's my bad, but most of the time it's, I usually leave behind what things I didn't really want anyways. Okay. Now we have uh, Sins of Mini his uh men's vest cute he always has the biggest smile love that lined front wrap vest has contrast shawl collar welt pockets inside button closure and back elastic for movability shorts have elastic waist with fly front and belt loops contrast side panel and back welt pockets yeah i missed that there was a vest and shorts okay so a take on you know, a summer tuxedo, right? Like it's everything but the jacket and the bottom of the pants. <laughs> um, what a fun take on menswear, I think. I'm trying to think of the men that I have in my sewing classes. Um, none of them are quite this stylish, so I don't know that they would go for it, but I would try. I would try very hard. Um, we have the contrast shawl collar. We have a little welt pocket, and then we have our shorts. Now, I don't go into detail on fit for men very much because I just don't understand men's anatomy as it relates to fit and pants is one of those things. Like if this were a woman's, a woman wearing a short, I would be like, oh my gosh, look at all these drag lines. But I don't know. Do they need that? <laughs> I don't, I, 
I don't know how it all works. Okay. Um, so we are just going to skip over that. And, you know, maybe there's a guy out here on YouTube who can assess fit for menswear, but it ain't going to be me. Instead, I'm just going to talk about how cute it all looks, which it all definitely, definitely does. Um, yeah, he put the elastic in the back here. I do kind of wish this were higher. And I, you know, I kind of think that the little, like, you know how most tuxedo vests have that little, like, slider thing? I don't think it would have been that hard to put that on there and just really take that inspo all the way. And then, yeah, we've got our um, belt loops. The welt pockets are contrast again. Oh, and there's even contrast on the side. Again, another nod to the um, tuxedo. I get it. I see exactly what you're doing. I'm following you all the way. Got it. All the way. Okay. So, yeah, even the line drawings are super cute. I kind of think if you made this for a woman, it would be super cute. You might have to swap out the shorts. Again, I don't fully understand if men's patterns are drafted differently, especially when they're fitted. Um, I don't know how all that works. And then same thing for here. Like, would you want something that had more room for, like, a boobs? I don't know. But the idea, you could definitely translate to other um, vest and shorts patterns if this one wouldn't work for some reason. All right. So our fabrics are cotton blends, gabardine, linen blends, seersucker, stretch wovens, and twill. Lining, cotton blends, polyester blends, and then interfacing. Okay, and then notions, we need buttons, elastic, a zipper, and more buttons. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't say suiting. I guess some of these would be suiting, but I would for sure look at suiting. I would for sure look at, like, even, like, wool. Was wool listed? No, because it's early spring. How cool would it be with, like, a wool vest and then, like, a trouser? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I should stick to women's wear. <laughs> I'm more confident there. Let me go let me go find something I know what I'm talking about. And then we have Donnie Q, who now his pattern from the last collection is one of those that I distinctly remember. I absolutely adored it and fell in love with it and fell in love with him. Um, so I'm excited to see what he brings now and continues to bring. I'm really glad they brought him on board. So this is a men's jacket and vest. It's a rain jacket that's a combination of a crop jacket and a vest. How cool. Crop jacket attaches to vest with snaps along the front. It can be worn together or separately. Boxy fit jacket features hood with visor. I'm wondering what that means. Drop shoulder and front snap closure. Vest has front zip closure, includes zipper patch pockets and two sizes of cargo pockets with flaps. Wow, a lot is happening here. So we have the snap away cropped jacket. And I get that most guys aren't gonna wear a cropped jacket, but again, if I could talk them into it, I would, because look how cool this looks. It just looks color blocked. It doesn't actually look like a cropped like jacket. There's another jacket right here. Um, then you have all these flaps, all these um, like 3D pockets. You know how they like stand away from the body? Same thing here. And then here's our vest. It does feel a little bit skimpy right here where the like the neckline I think is just turned under. I kind of wish there was like a better application for that. Either, I don't know, a band or a collar or not a collar, a band or a... um bias binding or something like that to make it just look a little bit more polished. But then you've got all these pockets as well. You'd want to wear this going to the movies because you could do like M&Ms right here and you could do pretzels over here and you get all your snacks and they would never, they would never know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Here's a close up. Well, now that I said all that about this finish, it does look better closer than I thought it did. Maybe it's how the zipper stops right here I'm trying to think on like ready to wear is that how it's I feel like I don't know something about this is rubbing me the wrong way but this is where the jacket the crop jacket snaps on so you can see how that works does that bother you guys that if you just wear the vest you can see the hardware 
And then look, you can just put your keys here. Wow, you really like would never need to carry anything again. Like a bag wise, you would just attach it to your body. Super cool. I also love how he never smiles. I can't help but smile when the camera turns toward me. I'm like, cheese. Drop shoulder, like he said. This is like an interesting arm shape as well. Right? Doesn't it seem to like balloon out a little? And then it's very fitted down here. Oh, this is the hood with the visor. I want to see that closer. Oh. In addition to this being an outer pocket, it's with a zipper. You can see it here. There's also, you slide your hand in and there's a pocket on the back too. Really no shortage of pockets here. Okay, that's it. That's all we're going to see. Hmm. So the visor thing, yeah, it looks like something right there is attached. That is super cool. Look at the pockets on the back. One's at an angle. So fun. So, so, so creative. Um, all right, so coated fabrics, meaning not fabrics for coats, but fabrics that are coated with a coating, like like to make them rain resistant or whatever. Um, nylon, water resistant fabric, and washed, or sorry, waxed fabric. Um, and then for the lining, I think instead of lining, they mean like the vest, I think, or maybe it's both. And this really is lining. That would be cotton blends, flannel, fleece, polyester, and then a ton of notions, a ton of notions. I did want to go see, yeah, the little visor thing. Now, ladies, are we going to just make the cropped version? And leave the vest behind are we all just going to make this as a crop jacket right that's what we're doing correct okay just making sure okay next we have beauty du jour yes oh my gosh girls and misses it's really no surprise she has been making matchy matchy clothes for her and her daughter for as long as i can remember so i knew it wouldn't take long for her to convince them to let her release a combo pattern as part of Nomi. Nothing like having mother and daughter time in stylist matching coats, slim fit coat features, double breasted closure, wide collar, epaulets, welt pocket, and sleeve band with button closure and belt. It's going to be really hard to not just look at the girl jacket the whole time, but I am going to try and look at mom's jacket. We do have this really amazing collar. Look how tall it is in the back. Then you have the like back flap thing. A belt, center back seam with a vent. I'm sure there's some pockets and stuff, and it's double breasted. Maybe no pockets. Oh, wait, there's something there. The epaulets she talked about. Oh, and then the sleeve detail too. Nice big cuff with a with a loop and everything. I mean, genuinely could not be any cuter. I do want more pictures. Let me look at the big line drawings. So yeah, we have some kind of detail here with the flap. This seems to be much more full than it appeared in the pictures. We also have welt pockets here, which I didn't even notice. And then the epaulets are just a tab with a button. I mean, it's a, it's a serious trench coat. You know what I mean? This is not going to just, you whip this up in a day. Um, especially if you're making two of them, one for you and one for your little. Uh, cotton blends, lightweight wool blends, not uh, linen blends, and nylon and twill. And then lining is cotton blends, polyester blends. So you will need a bunch of buttons, a belt buckle, and that's it. So it's not super expensive to make. Um, the fabric requirements are... For the 60 inch is four and a half yards. That's where you're going to spend most of your money. You're not going to dump it all into a bunch of hardware, which is kind of nice because on trench coats it can, or any coat really, it can kind of start to add up. Um, and then it is a coat. It's mostly oversized. So the finished garment measurements, they're not negligible, but they're not super, super important. Um, we've got 10 inches in the bust. And then 
30, oh gosh, 15 in the waist and seven, I think, in the hip. So very roomy. Um, if you're petite, you could definitely size down. And I wonder, it goes to 14 in the girl's size range. That puts the finished chest at 40 inches. I wonder if people who are super petite, like let's say Mrs. 8 and 6 sizes normally. I wonder, can you guys make the size 14? I've never thought of that before. I mean, it seems kind of weird to be making a, a quote unquote girls pattern. But I remember um, people when I was in high school or uh, I remember too the Olsen twins. Remember them? They were always like way stylish for their age. And when they would do interviews, people, they would tell people that they would buy women's clothing um, and have it sized down to their size. Um, so kind of the same thing, but not, I don't know. Great jacket. I'm not going to be making any more jackets in my lifetime, I don't think. Um, not any like traditional ones anyways. I just have plenty and I hardly wear them. But I do really enjoy looking at them. So, all right. Gwen Hang has made a dress. This is retro inspired dress. Has center front zipper, yoke with faux bustier outline, V-neck, cap sleeve, princess panel, and princess seams. Dress features a flounced hem and a belted waist. So if you remember Gwen's pattern from last time, you're kind of starting to pick up on her whimsical kind of vibe. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but it definitely kind of toes the line for me between cosplay and fashion. It's always really fun, always really flirty, frilly, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and so it's honestly like really fun to look at. And if you're someone who says all sewing patterns look the same, then you need to look at Gwen's patterns because they don't look like anything you'll find in the stores. That's for sure. Not from this time period anyways. All right, so we have the V-neck with the zipper front, princess seams that she's done, like it kind of kicks out like this, and so she's done it in contrast, and I'm 99% sure this is going to be a pocket, which is super cool. You have this really thick belt, which is super fun, and then even in the back, it kind of, you know, cuts away. Then she's added this, basically a full circle skirt to the bottom hem of this. Now, she is a petite woman. So she's able to pull off these hip accents and this kind of like low, like super low waisted kind of mermaid situation um, because she's wanting to add visual interest to her waist and hips. Someone like me, if I put this on, all you would, it would just be like walking hips and butt. It'd just be like hips and butt and thighs walking to you down the street or wherever I am. It's all you would see. Um, I think you could probably play around with that a little bit if you added this light blue color up here to the shoulder in some way. I don't know necessarily if it's the sleeve or if it's adding a collar of it, but if you put more of this up here, your eye would go up to the lighter color. But it's really cute as it is for those of you who are ruler, like straight up and down, um, or even inverted triangles would look really cute in this. And I really love the front exposed zipper. I, I've been seeing that around lately. I hope that that's, you know, sticks around for a minute. Yep. Okay, here's the back. So, chambray, cotton blends, denim, linen blends, stretch wovens. Well, again, all your mid-weight wovens. That's what we've been seeing consistently um, through this collection. We've got a exposed zipper, buckle, and some eyelets. And then 6 to 14 and 16 to 24 is the size range. I love that because she herself is petite, they're including the lower end of their size range. I think that that, I don't know if it's intentional because that's her demographic or if they're that's who they hope she brings in. I don't know. But um, she's petite, so they have the petite sizes. I love that. Okay, finished garment, like ease-wise, we're looking at 4 inches in the bust two inches in the waist with that belt though, so you can make it smaller, and four inches, three and a half, four inches in the hip. It all makes perfect sense to me for this type of dress. I hope somebody do also tries to make it without this little top part. How cute would it be as a, 
oh no, no line drawings, um, as a strapless situation. I don't know. I just saw that just now and I was like, oh, that's really cute. Or if we did this like sheer or something, I don't know. Again, lots of fun things to do with the um, contrast panels. Okay, this is the Stitch Fits off the shoulder ruffle dress in two lengths with a lined bodice, boning at waist, sweetheart neckline with elastic, optional straps, and invisible back zipper. Okay, so what we've seen from her so far is drape and ruffles. <laughs> she likes lightweight fabrics. She likes drapey things. She likes ruffly things. So if that's your vibe, you're going to want to pay attention to her for sure. This one's definitely giving me like Carnival Cruise, but the Disney version, right? It's a Disney Carnival Cruise. This is giving me Disney Princess, but like she goes on vacation to a resort somewhere, maybe even Spain, something along those lines really pretty, right? I do love the upper flounce. So for those of us that are fuller in the hip and we want to draw our eye away from that, you put something really huge up here and your hips go away. I like the mini version with, I do will say I would probably prefer the straps. I'm curious to see if there's any notions in the list in terms of how are we keeping this thing up without the straps? Is there boning? Is there elastic? Like what's happening? Um, there's also like, I think a lot of style lines in the skirt that might be a little bit hard to see from here. There's the back really pretty cute A-line silhouette, adjustable straps even. Okay. And then, so charmeuse, crepe, silky types, soft cotton blends. Yeah, you could definitely even go into the world of eyelet. Like if you did the bodice in a solid color, probably white or nude, and then this whole flouncy thing in eyelet, then this skirt in the solid, and then this in eyelet, or even like underline this part with the eyelet and the solid, you could definitely get away with using some sheer fabrics for these ruffles. That would be fun. Okay, so two yards of featherweight boning. Okay, great. Both views have the boning, FYI. I don't know that both of them need it, but both of them have it. Um, and then elastic, an invisible zipper, probably on the side somewhere, a hook and eye, and a pair of strap sliders. Okay, so where is the elastic? I guess the elastic is in addition to the boning, which that's kind of nice. 6 to 14, 16 to 24 on the size range. We've got three and a half inches of ease in the bust, one inch in the waist. Eh, okay. And then six, five and a half or six in the hip. Yeah, that feels fine. One inch in the waist on a drapey fabric feels not great um especially when there's no like belt or nothing to cinch it in I don't know how I feel about that but if I did add more it would only be like one inch maybe like half to one and a half inches but really pretty really really pretty for sure that could also be the great jumping off point for a prom dress um if you want to consider that Okay, we've got Butte Du Jour again. This is her second pattern. Okay. Um, oversized button front shirt has drop shoulder sleeves, breast pocket, and double layer cuffs. Hold on, we did this. This is her pattern from last time. Never mind. That was the fall pattern. All of these are the fall. Wait, is that it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all we've got. No me. PDF early spring. Oops. Okay, so the search function's not incredible. Or maybe there's just they're not in PDFs, they're only in paper. Okay, gotcha. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Dang. I hope that's not a sign of something bad and that it people were just busy. 
what I will say though, it's small, the collection, but it is mighty. I've enjoyed every single pattern. I might not end up needing to buy all of them. Like for the jacket, for example, I'm not going to make a trench coat, but I did enjoy them all for what they are. So that's good. That's a step in the right direction for big five for sure. Wow. Okay. So yeah, just eight, eight little patterns. Hmm. Okay. It is what it is. I'm just surprised. Um, well, let me know. What did you guys think of the collection? Um, are you going to be making any of these for your early spring wardrobe? Um, if so, which ones? Did any of the ideas I threw out there spark some interest or inspiration? Did you come up with your own kind of unique ideas that you want to share with the group? Do all of that in the comment section below. Otherwise, that's going to do it for me and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.